TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family. From Chicago to the UK, right behind me. If you miss a live, just go on Twitch, replay the live, man. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, we do got Patreon. We post there Monday through Friday. Uh, we just watched Luther. I know it's Saturday, but, you know, we playing catch up. And we do got merch as well, man. The link to all of that is down in the description. Now, this is Ape Honcho. I seen this story. I never paid attention to it because I'm like, oh, this is America. Somebody got caught on the beach making an OnlyFans video. Who cares? But I didn't know that all of this happened. This back part, like, that's tough. <laughs> let's, 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 let me hold on now. Now I'm interested. On the afternoon of July 1st, 2021, <sighs> officers from the Tybee Island Police This is from 2021? Department descended on Tybee Island Beach in Tybee Island, Georgia. The police had been called by a member of the public because according to them, a woman had walked past the caller's family tent several times and eventually had found a spot a short distance away in front of it. After placing a towel down on the sand, the caller said that the woman started touching herself inappropriately. I could hear moaning. As you'll see, the woman in question appears to be confused at first, but when confronted by the claims made against her, she starts to give her version of events and tries to reason with her actions. Can we speak to you for a second? We'll get you over there. Go ahead and bring your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta see how this plays out. They got live webcam. I mean, body cam footage. What's your name, ma'am? Chris. Chris. Do you have right. your ID on you? Chris. Yeah, can I ask what the problem is? All right, so someone called us. We got multiple calls about you. What? About something pertaining on the beach. Yes. Were you what? supposed to be, were you doing something you weren't supposed to be doing? What? Officer, do your job and say it. Like, what were you doing on the beach? <coughs> like, prior to coming here. Prior to coming here. Were you at the beach at some point in time? Ma'am, you was twirling that pebble. I would have, man, were you twirling your pebble? Okay, I don't understand. There was nobody around. I was just sitting on my town. Nobody was around me. Okay, and you were over at the beach? Like, I was, I was near the water. Near the water? Yeah. Okay. She got a Rolex on, right, too. Well, she getting too like much said, money for uh, this. Someone called. They saw you doing something you weren't supposed I didn't, to be doing. No, no, that's that's not true. I, I, okay, look, is this something that my phone should be off for or on off for? Wait, you could whatever you want to do. It's your right. If you want to record this conversation, you can. But we are also recording, so, so you know. I, I, okay, can you can, can you show? I mean, who, who did I offend? I don't understand. What did I do? What did I do? So apparently, you're masturbating on the beach. Uh, she was. <laughs> Who saw that? I mean, a couple people. No, they Families. didn't. That's that's not true. Why would they call us? Okay, because I was by myself. Um, now I will tell you this: the only way that somebody would have called you is if it was a military operation. They're fucking doing this. Mean Never mind. Okay, okay, so nobody nobody was around. Who? It was it an anonymous call? Is yeah. this one of my buddies? Okay, no, one of my buddies. No, it's, it's not. It's a family. Okay, look, let me sh no, right, let me show you what I did. Okay. Okay. Is there anything I'm in the bag? No. Is there if I look through? I mean, if you can open it and can I see the contents inside the bag? Yes. Okay. He's trying to find that rose. He's trying to find that dough of deal. That's tough. I don't I don't really understand what y'all are. We're, we're just here because someone called and... It's indecent exposure. This very concerned. Yeah. Okay, this uh, is really highly offensive to me. I got it. I got you. And that's why I'm trying to figure it's a, it out. It's my yeah. vibrator, but I just put it in my... I was sitting on the beach, and I just... Just... Okay. okay do I need, Do I get a ticket? <laughs> so, so, you did have a vibrator. 
Listen, I was sitting on the water like this, and I just put it in there, and it was covered up, and I just had an orgasm. I'm sorry. I was stressed out. I, I got it? you. Okay. Just hang tight for me. I'm sorry. You saw me. I was in the okay. water. Okay, so what, if this that's, is anonymous, that's the that's that's Okay. It, I mean, I'm, yeah. People did see it. We didn't yeah, get a call for no reason. I swear yeah. to God, I was sitting in the water, and nobody you. saw it. I got you. Well, I mean, if nobody saw it, then they wouldn't have we called, right? Call if nobody saw it. Man, so. Somebody called. Somebody seen it. You was in that water. Oh, to the moon. Oh, that's Don't my bad. Don't me. Are you serious? Do <laughs> you want to take primary? I'm, yeah, I'm honored to take this since you're talking. To okay. It's crazy because if there's children around, like, now you're an a, 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 a S offender. You got to be a registered. You got to go on that list. Offer a little, you know what I'm saying? You probably have a beach. You probably have a hotel room. Why would you, why are you on this voyeur this type is situation? What, is, what am I being arrested for? Indecent exposure. No, but I didn't have any of my body Someone parts called. out. It doesn't matter. A family saw it. They had kids. It, what? Are you, there was called. nobody around me. So. Nothing in here that shouldn't be in here? No. Okay. Well, I'm just going to throw this in here, okay? Yeah. 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 I'm hoping this is Jesus Christ. Dang, they got to walk her all through there. So that's why you should do private stuff in the privacy of your yeah. privacy privately. And you know what's crazy? She was probably by herself and nobody was around, but the family had already seen she was already acting suspicious and somebody spied on her from afar. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, she, she going crazy. Georgia is not the place to be playing around any part of Georgia. Uh, all right, awesome. Oh, is that here? Sweet, thank you so much. What's your name? Amber. I-95. That's crazy. She was on the beach trying to get a beachfront prop, like, relaxation moment. She was zzz, zzz. That's tough. Look at these officers. <laughs> they didn't got a mocha. Like, they wild. All right. She was probably literally like, I'm either in my hotel room or I'm in my house. You know what? I'm going to go outside and, and do it. Like, just be in the house and do it. Like, why? Why uh, even do all this? Cause I'm probably sure she would have just got regularly arrested, but like there were kids around. You 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 got to get registered. You got to. It's it's deeper than this now. Ma'am. It's so dark. Hold on. Don't play around and draw. She trying. She out there trying to be a free spirit. You got an idea? Uh, uh no, we haven't got an idea yet. 
They gonna find the the zzz. I just throw that in the bag. Fifteen tidy. Can you run a Georgia twenty seven? How long is this footage? Okay. Not gonna lie, I don't want to see this. All right, they got her arrested. Yeah. All right. Hold on, wait. Nice. Nice. Keep talking about nice. Perverted. Uh, I mean, and she she admitted to it. She you know, she said. Yeah, that's what you said on the beach. If you're gonna do something like that, you know, don't get caught. That's all I have to say, you know. Facts. So I mean, I got nothing against you, you know. Obviously not. 34-year-old Christina Ashley Revels Glick was arrested and charged with indecent exposure and disorderly conduct. If you're not familiar with this story, then you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's the end of it. She went through the legal process. Yeah, this is what I thought, like, this is like, I, this is what I thought, like, I seen it on a uh, world star or something. And I was like, okay, whatever. It's not that. You know, in, it's not that deep. And received her punishment. But now in the state I ain't of Georgia, get all of this. the first offense of indecent exposure is classed as a misdemeanor. So you'd be right to think that she got a slap on the wrist. But what if I told you she didn't even make it through the whole legal process because she passed just months after her arrest? But the circumstances surrounding her death aren't as straightforward as you may think. Christina's life leading up into the beach incident had been a quote wild one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She feel I feel like she lit. She went on that beach and was going doing lit things. According to one unnamed relative. And although there isn't much information about her. Hold on. Something's happening. Hold on. Gotta make do with what's happening here. I don't know. Anyway. Her early life, we do know that the beach incident wasn't her first run in with the law. She got in trouble, got herself arrested. She went to prison in Florida. It isn't entirely oh, she clear a why she offender. went to prison, but we do know that she had been arrested on a handful of occasions. In 2018, she was accused of stealing a car, and in that same year, she was arrested oh, she a handful of times crazy. for public drunkenness. Her life prior to the 2018 arrests was far from stable. You see, she had two sons with two different men, a 19 year old from a relationship way back in the day and a 15 year old from a marriage that ended in divorce in 2015. Although the divorce went through in 2015, the marriage had broken down years before. Just six months after the 15 year old was born, she left the family home to go on her own journey in life. The child was left with his father. Over the years, she had a like contact her mind. She with a either of her children and their fathers. But on at least one occasion, she and her at the time husband rekindled. After she spent time in jail, her husband took her back. But she was wild. A short while after they got back together, she fell in with a real bad crowd. She was drinking and taking drugs. 
By 2020, Christina had made her own way in life once again, and she had been living at a property in Hinesville, Georgia. She's 35 and lived judging, like she was 60. There were a lot of men, and we heard she worked at a strip club too. She was always nice to talk to, always smiled, said hello to our kids when she was coming in and out. She always paid her rent on time. In that sense, she was a model tenant. Then came March of 2022. On the 19th, Landlady Felicity Rollins contacted police to request a welfare check on Christina. She had missed her latest payment for rent. A couple of weeks had gone by and Felicity couldn't get hold of her. When police arrived, it was reported that, quote, negative contact was made. Then they left. Remember, Ashley wasn't considered so a she was there in the eyes of authorities, and there were no reports to police that she could be in any sort of danger, so there wasn't much they could do about it. Over the next 12 days, Felicity continued to try and reach out to Christina, but all attempts failed. Then, them teeth look like she do class A's. On the 31st of March, 2022, Felicity and her boyfriend decided it was for the best to enter the property to see what was going on for themselves. It was then a gruesome discovery was made. I was sitting waiting in my truck when Felicity and her boyfriend came down and said, something's wrong. We think there's a dead body in there. It smelled? It pretty much turned straight around when they opened the door. I didn't believe it. I thought they were messing, so I went up. When Felicity's family friend, Gareth White, entered the apartment, he knew straight the way that someone had died. The smell alone was enough to tell him that. And so there she was, Christina decomposing on the floor Dang. in the property. She had been dead for roughly a month. Dang. After an investigation, detectives concluded that she took her own life for reasons unknown. But people connected to the incident don't really buy into that story and want police to explore the possibility that she may have been murdered. After the discovery was made, Felicity asked her sister, Whitney Phillips. No, hold on. Stop now. Let's keep it real. Let's look at her life. Let's look at her life decisions. This is what I be like. No offense, but this is what I be saying to these women who be out here partying, 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 partying. There's a time where you're going to reach an expiration date. Like, like, let's the party expiration date. It, there's a time where it's, it's everything mentally all these soul ties all this stuff that you're doing it's gonna hit you all at once and you're gonna go through a serious depression you can't step out here at 34 partying like you 24 still you're 34 it's a it's let it go you got two kids that you do not take care of you know like 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 think about it. you got a 19 year old that you that didn't take care of or whatever like you got two kids, two baby daddies, uh, two like you didn't take care of any of them. You're 34. You probably you pass your heyday. You know what I'm saying? You trying to hang on. Like yeah, that's a mental battle. You going through a mental battle. Then the, the strongest mental battle of it all is you didn't take care of your kids. Had to do something to a mom. Eventually, when it finally catch up to you, when you finally start caring, and it's too late. It's tough. <laughs> to act on her behalf, moving. I believe it. I believe she did it to herself. Forward, as the incident was too much for her to handle. When Whitney entered the property, she noticed that there was blood in every room. Not only that, but there was other evidence to suggest foul play. There was blood in every room in the apartment, but there were other things like did it. unopened packages, things for the apartment, like she was expecting still to do things. Depression Why would she is be real. Ordering stuff for the house. Why would she still be paying her bills if she was planning to end it? She was never late on rent. I didn't sleep right for a week after seeing the inside of that apartment. You could see the marks on the wall where her body had been and on the carpet where it had laid. To me, it looks like she was panicking, trying to get away, trying to save her life. Why would she be moving through the house like that? That yeah, doesn't make sense. Yeah, because she didn't want to. She thought about it afterwards. Jonathan like, ah. Johnson and his wife Jasmine, downstairs neighbors, think Christina was murdered too. The Johnsons believe they had the actual murder taking place but didn't want to intervene because they weren't too sure. They say a man who Ashley had been seeing needs to be taken in for questioning. I believe that dude killed her. We heard a lot of commotion that one night, then we never saw her or heard her. All right. 
Well, I still stand by what I say. But at the end of the day, yeah, police, go ahead, investigate, do what y'all do. Regain. But this is wild. I asked, should we call the police? But you're not too sure sometimes. Like, if you get involved, maybe you'll get hurt too. That guy was there all the time and his car was over there that night. When we came out the next day, it was gone. That night, it was like a lot of heavy walking and moving around going on. After that, it was just silent up there. And so, it's been well over a year since police reached their conclusion. We can't rule out that they'd ever change their theory and investigate the possibility that Christina was murdered, but we can say, for at least now anyway, that they don't think she was. And that's tough, man. I, the moral of the story is, you know what I'm saying, take care of your responsibilities, be safe out there. When you when you wrapped up in a certain lifestyle, you attract certain people, you date certain people, and these certain people might or might not have take your life. See y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.